Toy Poloi, a shadowy flight into the dangerous world of a toy restorer who does not exist. Toy Poloi, a young loner on a crusade to champion the cause of the broken, the helpless, the powerless, in a world of collectors who operate above the law. Welcome to Toy Poloi. Hello and welcome to another video from Toy Polloy and today we're going to be dealing with an issue I get asked about all the time and that is vintage Star Wars ATSTs with wobbly legs or bent legs so much so that a lot of these old uh, ATSTs or chicken walkers don't stand up. It really is something I get asked about all the time so I thought I would do a separate video just about how to deal with the uh, wobbly legs on these things because it's something that happens to them all over time. If you display them standing upright which is essentially what you have to do at some point you'll end up with one like this in the middle where it's so sort of wobbly it barely stands up. In fact this one here I've had a great trouble getting it to stand up today. If I put the figure inside it, which all of my uh, vehicles have figures in them, uh, this one actually just falls over. It spent the last few years sitting between an ATAT's legs and that's actually what's been holding it up. Now I've taken it out of that display it really is very wobbly and you can see it's really just on the edge of falling over. Whoop, just about. Uh, so we're going to fix this one today because it's the one that's got the uh, worst case of the wobbly legs. It's pretty easy to see what's happened to this ATSE over the years. Basically the weight of the head has caused the lower parts of the legs to bend. In fact if I lift this up you can see how bowed this leg has got. It's got a real twist going on it and this one has got a little bit of a twist above the ankle and these are the pieces we need to straighten out. It's uh, just something that happens with this sort of plastic. When these were made this plastic had quite a lot of flex to it but really the weight of this vehicle sitting on these legs for years and years has just caused them to sort of twist and bend and we're going to try and get rid of that. The first thing we need to do is actually take this leg off. It's very straightforward. We basically do undo a screw here and this bottom part of the leg will come away and then there is a screw inside to remove the foot. So I'm just going to unscrew both of these and we'll end up with this piece which is the bit we need to straighten out. And I'm going to do that on both sides because we'll do both legs today. With these legs off you can now really see how twisted and bent the bottom parts of them are. They've got quite a curve to them. This is the left leg. This is not so bad. There's just a bit of a curve there. The rest of the leg is looking fairly straight but this one you can see right from the top it's twisted round and then as it gets to the bottom it's twisted again and then twisted back on itself. Uh, to it, so much so that this bar that should rest on the back here uh, isn't even resting on it. You can see that comes down quite straight but this leg is now bent out so it doesn't even touch it. If we look at this one you can see this one is uh, in the right position. So what we need to do is to reshape these and to do that we are going to just put them into some just boiled water. So I'm going to boil up the kettle, put it into a flat dish, drop these in and leave them in there for sort of 20 to 30 seconds for the plastic to start to warm up and then I should be able to reshape these by hand moving them and sort of twisting them and bending them until they are back to flat. Then then we'll let them cool down fully. This one should be very quick to do, shouldn't take too long at all. This one may take a few goes. So I'll be putting this in the water, warming it up, twisting the plastic, shaping it, letting it cool and then we'll do the next bit and sort of just keep warming it up and going back and forth. If you try and do this with the plastic unwarmed up you 
you are liable to snap it so that's why we need to warm it up in just boiled water. So let's get the kettle on and we'll start reshaping these legs. As you can see it didn't take that long to get them looking pretty good. Now you do have to be very careful when doing that because the water is just boiled so uh, be very careful, don't want to burn yourselves. I was using an old toothbrush just to hook them out of the water so I didn't actually have to touch anything in the water but do be very careful. And this is the final result so you can see that they are now looking really quite straight. There's still a little bit of a twist on the very bent one but overall I'm, I'm really happy with how those have come out. If you compare it to uh, how they started that is a marked difference. Now we can go ahead and put this ATST back together. So I'm just going to screw the feet on. The feet are the same both sides so it doesn't matter which one you put onto which leg. We'll screw those in place uh, and then I'll show you how to do the top bit once I get round to that. But uh, let's screw the feet on first. So there you go, the feet are on and again you can see how straight these legs are looking. They really are standing up bright, nice and square. Uh, so we can put these back onto the figure. Now there is a definite left and right leg. You can see that there is detailing on the outside of the leg. So make sure this bit that without the detailing is on the inside. We'll bring in the top of the ATST. So this is uh, the right leg and the way this works is you put that on the back of this top piece. So that just slots on there. Then you have to pull this arm round and that hooks into there's a hole on the top of uh, the leg you can see that so that hooks into that then we get one of these pieces and that slots over the top of everything that uh, sort of outer rim holds uh, this little piece in place and then we put the screw back in on the front and we'll do that on uh, both of these legs and then we can see if this figure stands up So here is the moment of truth. Will my ATSD stand up and also be straight? Let's find out. There you go. Absolutely perfect. It's that simple to do. Basically, uh, this uh, process just is re-straightening the legs of after years and years of having sort of pressure on them and making them bend. You can see with the legs like nice and straight like that, this ATSD stands up really very nicely. There's no wobble to it. It's not going to fall over. And I would also hope now that if I put the pilot back in, which is I say as I have all of my figures that would have uh, pilots and figures in them, it will also stand up. It wouldn't do previously. It's a very 
simple thing to do. It takes sort of 10 or 15 minutes by the time you've got the uh, vehicle apart and the legs in the hot water and everything. It really is a straightforward process. Now, over time, chances are this will happen again because it's the same plastic. It's just going to gently heat up in your room or your display room and over time it will start to warp again. So you may have to do this another time. It just depends on how you are storing your vehicles. I've got uh, three of these on display and this is the only one that this has happened to. But I think when I actually picked this one up, it was slightly bowed. And once they're slightly bowed and have a lean to them, it tends to sort of encourage it to sort of twist and bend a bit more. Now I've fixed this, I think this should be fine for a very long time. So I hope this video has been of interest to you. If you've enjoyed it, then make sure to hit the subscribe button and tap the bell to be notified each time I upload a new video. And thanks for watching. Thanks for watching Toy Ploy. Subscribe for more great videos. You can also follow Toy Ploy on Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram.